Okay, so forgive me, it's a bit loud. We got the uh, machine shop running full tilt boogie right now. Uh, sorry about the last video. I didn't realize that I had my microphone plugged in, but the microphone was turned off. So yeah, it doesn't really work if you uh, don't turn it on. At any rate, uh, mostly this video is for Kirk at Rampart Pictures and Rampart Gear. Uh, he makes awesome knives, but I uh, wanted to show my surface grinder conversion uh, to belts. It's a really simple setup. Uh, Sunray Engineering for the wheel. It's just a rubber serrated wheel. I think I went 90 durometer. If I was going to do it again, I'd probably go 110 durometer. That's like bone hardness. Um, it's going to give you a little bit. Uh, it's going to be harder to give a better surface finish, but uh, you'll have less edge rolling because as you go across the blade, it's going to roll the edge slightly as the wheel compresses. So, I don't know. 90, 90 works, gives you a nice finish, but uh, it's hard to get parts really flat. Um, you got to do a couple of spark out passes just to get them nice and flat, but it works. Uh, but yeah, this one is 90 durometer, and I've been making it work for a number of years, so, you know, whatever. Uh, at any rate, the main arm was actually a piece of scrap aluminum that I had sitting around the shop. And uh, what I did was just cut the wheel guard so that I could fit the belt. And then I just bolted that piece of aluminum counterboard and, and uh, ran the holes through this, um, this guard with some 3 8 bolts and some nylocks or metal locks. Just there, there, and there. Three bolts. Uh, the nice part about this brown and sharp, you know, it's a 1934. Uh, I don't know where the name tag is. It's somewhere on here, but at any rate, uh, it just, this guard just clamps onto the spindle nose, so it was really easy to just pull it off. There we go. You can kind of see it right here. It just clamps on, so it's really easy. Uh, one cool thing is, is I can clock this if I want to. You know, I could, I could change the angle, which is kind of nice. Um, so makes it really easy to convert this to belts. So basically, it was a T-shaped piece of aluminum mounted. It, it goes straight up, and the first wheel is mounted right to the uh, the upper stanchion, and then I just did sandwich construction with some quarter-inch aluminum mounted a gas strut and a, a pivot point for another piece of aluminum. I think this is like one inch aluminum everywhere. Um, and then made a pulley, or a, not a pulley, I'm sorry, a uh, tracking arm set up. It's just a hinge with some clearance. I just machined that out on the bridge port. Uh, and then handle for the gas strut. Forgive me, I gotta climb around the backside here. And it's just a uh, tracking wheel or a knob from McMaster Car, a threaded knob. Um, so you can get up to the top here. Let me move my camera so I can actually see what I'm looking at. You can kinda, you can see it, it's filthy, but it's just a bolt that runs through and I just made a hinge. Hopefully that makes sense. Climb out from behind here. Give you an overall shot. And uh, let me run over to the toolbox. And see if I can find a tape measure real quick. I don't know why the top of the toolbox always turns into a junk drawer. At any rate, let me uh, get you some measurements here. So, we're looking at, I think this arm, sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed. I should have really grabbed the tripod for this. Uh, I meant like 19 inches from the top of the wheel, you know, so. I think it's a six inch wheel. So realistically, if you went roughly center to, you know, you're about 22 inches, 23 inches uh, from center of the wheel to center of that wheel. And then this arm, 
from the pivot point or well let's make this easy from the center of the wheel to the center of the tracking wheel is roughly 16 inches that's extended uh, when the belt is on you know it's significantly shorter than that let's see if I can oh man I'm good at this one-handed thing managed to put that belt on one-handed Yeah, it's still, you know, the whole swing is roughly 16 inches. It's not really, uh, really changing much. So there you have it. Uh, six inch, I used one inch belts. Uh, if I was going to do it again, I might go two inch, but it gives me enough room to uh, move off the magnet. So I went one inch belts and I just made a splitter uh, for the belts and I just ordered two by 72 belts and split them. It's pretty easy. Uh, you know, and then I use two inch wheels everywhere other than the contact wheel. The contact wheel is only an inch wide. So that's that. Hopefully that helps uh, Kirk or anyone else for that matter. Thanks for watching.